Here are some notes on the respiratory quotient. The respiratory quotient is the ratio of carbon dioxide volume released to oxygen volume consumed during respiration and metabolism of a food. So again, carbon dioxide produced to oxygen consumed. It's calculated just as the ratio. Again, carbon dioxide produced to oxygen consumed. It's a dimensionless number. There are some RQ values for macronutrients. Fats have the lowest respiratory quotient. Uh, proteins are in the middle at 0.8, and carbohydrates like glucose are the highest at 1.0. There's an example calculation listed below. For glucose metabolism, you have this glucose molecule that requires this much oxygen to provide six carbon dioxides and six water molecules. Your respiratory quotient can then be calculated as six carbon dioxides over six oxygens to get 1.0, and that makes sense because glucose is a carbohydrate. There's some clinical applications to using the respiratory quotient. It can be used to calculate your basal metabolic rate, and it can be measured through indirect calimetry. It helps identify the primary energy source being metabolized, and it's used in the alveolar gas equation.